This is an outcrop of the Bald Eagle Formation and Reedsville Formation. Both formations are sedimentary and were deposited during the Ordovician period. The outcrop lies on the northeast side of the Pennsylvania Turnpike at the Narrows, where the Raystown branch of the Juniata River cuts through Evitts Mountain, just east of the town of Bedford. The Bald Eagle is a ridge-forming sandstone in the Appalachian Mountains and lies stratigraphically above the Reedsville Formation, which is mostly a slope-forming shale. Stratigraphic up is to the left, and thus the beds are overturned. We're going to be focusing on the southeast end of the outcrop where structural deformation is strongest. Deformation includes folding and faulting. This is US Route 30. Here we're looking down onto the bottom side of the beds of the Reedsville Formation. They are mostly sandstone rather than shale here near the contact with the Bald Eagle Formation. This photo was taken a few meters to the left of where the last video clip was shot and clearly shows a fault where the beds dip more steeply on the left side than on the right. This is thus a rotational fault. I've only seen a few faults that were rotational but this is the best exposed and most obvious one I've ever seen. If you walk up onto the space between the turnpike and the outcrop, you will see some of these well-exposed faults. This one cuts down and to the left in the center of the photo. The beds on the left side have moved up relative to the right side, making this a reverse fault. This one is similar but more obvious. Moving to the northeast. Here we are looking down section through the uppermost Reedsville formation. And here is the Orthorhynchula biostratigraphic marker bed, which marks the top of the Reedsville Formation and the base of the Bald Eagle Formation. The bed occurs over a wide area as it is found in many outcrops of the Bald Eagle. Orthorhynchula is a genus of extinct brachiopod that is abundant in this bed. Brachiopods are a phylum of marine invertebrates. As you will see, they superficially resemble clamshells, but anatomically they are quite different. Here is a close-up of the bed. I have rotated it around so that stratigraphic up is up in the image. 
The brachiopods are most abundant at the base of the bed. Here is another look, unrotated, with a knife about 8 centimeters long for scale. The brachiopods are most clear at the right. I collected some of the orthorhynchulas for a closer look. Moving northeast again and up section. We are in the lower bald eagle formation here with relatively undeformed beds. Here we see some deformation with folding evident in the beds. Moving further up section. Looking down section or southeast this way. Here is a prominent fault trending down and to the left. Here is some severe structural deformation. I'll move in for a closer look at this fold.